Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. I also have a blog over there, so check that out. Oh, hi, okay, so we have two cards. So we have Kunzite, Self-Love, Rhodochrosite, Acceptance. These are both huge love crystals and if you checked out the reading from yesterday, we have Ruby. Okay. So let's talk about this. <laughs> I just hit the mic again. It's kind of in the way. I don't know. So acceptance and self-love. This is self-acceptance. I've been taught my entire life that I'm not good enough or that I'm not smart enough, not pretty enough, not whatever, not capable enough. And now I realize that is ridiculous. But it's more than that. This is a huge indication that love... Love is the answer, <laughs> right? But approaching things with love is the shift we need to make. Uh, approaching people with love, that does not equate to being an enabler. You ever have somebody who comes up and they just, they're just they just rude and they just scream in your face and you're like, okay, I need more information. And the person you're with is like, oh, just, just send them some love. I get that in the comments all the time. They need love. Send them love. Tell me you're codependent without telling me you're codependent or tell me that you're a gaslighter without telling me that you're a gaslighter. Don't diminish that, all right? But you can set healthy boundaries and still be coming from a place of love. You, you can try to put more love into not only your interactions, but in how you approach work, love partnerships. And what's interesting, I keep saying it's not what you think. So if you are in a relationship and you're putting more self-love into you, like you're realizing more self-love and your partner is someone who is domineering, diminishing, you live for them, you're doing all the work and they're not pulling their weight in any way, and now that moment of self-love might find you walking out the door. Same thing with a job. You might suddenly wake up and go, you need me more than I need you. <laughs> you know, be careful. Okay, people, it depends on where you live, but people are having trouble with jobs and things like that. But this approaching everything with love and going the route of love is not false positivity. I hope we've gotten good at seeing that and focusing on that. Uh, to that end, be careful of um, the dragons on, the bad dragons on social media. The ones who come out and tell you what their credentials are and this is why I'm so smart and this is why you need to lead, listen to me. And then they lead into some misogynistic tirade or, you know, they're just not compassionate people. They're just, you know, saying, oh, I come from love. I come, hopefully you've learned to feel out whether that's authentic or not. And that's a big part of this too. Where is the authentic love? And who's just saying what we want to hear? All right. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.